Okay, hello. Welcome, your faces back to Hunter Ascended. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, so this is going to be episode, I think, is it 27 now we're up to? It's, I think it's 27. Uh, uh, we're up to now, so that's good. Um, we've been busy, okay? Now, I've got two behind the scenes kind of filling in the gaps a little bit of what's going to happen. But even behind the, after doing the behind the scenes, I've been doing like two days worth of effort into this to get to where we are now. Just because I wasn't going to record two days worth of videos, you know. Just, it'd be no point. But So I just thought I'd do a bit of a showcase episode here where we're going to kind of show what we've been up to. We're going to dip into a little bit more of the power, getting power sorted. And also, we're going to look at Abyssal Craft because we're going to have to do that to complete the game, guys. And I've never done it before. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've watched a little bit of something about it, but I've not done it once. So we're going to be doing it today. All right. Uh, there might be a bit of a long episode. We're going to see how it feels when we're doing it. Um, but yeah. Hopefully it'll be good for you guys. Um, just before we do get started, though, I want to remind you guys, um, we are still trying to grow the channel and we are going to have more content, more Minecraft series and more other gameplay and other things like that. But I need more comments and feedback from you guys. So if you don't mind, you know, subscribe to the channel so you can see when the new videos come up. Follow me on Twitter if you want to be able to watch me live and join my Discord, things like that. Yeah, it does help the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And yeah, that way you can interact with me more and I can get better feedback. All right, sounds good? Brilliant. Let's get into it. So, first things first, um, the people that have been watching the behind the scenes will know about our little room down here that we've been creating. Yeah? A perfect little storage thing. Now, I have been doing things with this. Um, I did say I was going to try and build a computer down here, and it turns out you can't have two controllers in the same system, so you cannot put it like two of these. However, what we did make was... A wireless crafting grid yeah now this gives us wireless access to our entire system all right and the grid and crafting all right uses a bit of power each time yeah and that's basically how it works now the way it works is you need a crafting monitor hooked up to your system and then you just need a wireless transmitter you get them made I've got some range upgrades on so that will cover 40 blocks from this point yeah so which pretty much covers my almost my entire base yeah and I've also got a wireless transmitter all the way down here which is what allows me to craft and access the system basically from wherever I am down there just saves me having to run back all the way here and there and it was it was kind of annoying um, also to charge it we made ourselves a mechanism charge pad yeah it's very easy if we can kind of I'll get the recipe up for you guys why is that like it says it was on page one but it isn't page one so what are you lying for there we go that's page one here we go look charge pad it's just some stone pressure plates, some steel, and then an energy tablet, which is just them. All right, in the behind the scenes, I did kind of go into mechanism a little bit and show you guys what's what. So if you are a bit confused about what's going on and what mechanism is, by all means, go check out the Watch to Grind um, episode and you should be able to see it there. But basically, this is just, I think if we stand on here, it'll charge whatever we got it possible to charge, including like a configurator and things like that. It's a nice little gadget, all right? Uh, we've got our power wire going up into underneath it, so that's why that works. Um, all that is is a lot of antimatter. I had to go and find a biome for that. Right, here's where things get interesting. So, I left off, guys, where I was... I showed you guys on this Sunday, you watched the grind, yeah? And we were basically... I told you we'd have to spend a couple of days, and it took about a day and a half to get to where we are. Um, but we basically built environmental tech which this is a void resource okay so void or minor yeah this is tier three now we only had a tier one when i left you guys um and i obviously upgraded as we went along we needed them crystals remember which you can only get through this and it takes time but once you get up to speed you eventually can get to like this stage this is only tier three we can't go high yet because we need more power which is what we're going to be doing soon as well um we're going to use the solar panel system, which I'm going to show you in this episode, okay, how to make the solar power stuff for this. And we're going to create it and hook it up to our system to hopefully give us better power, yeah? Um, this one here, I put it for free because there's three types of void ore miners. You've got the ore miner, which is here. You've got the resource miner, which is over here. And then another one is a botani botanic miner, which is like here, which gets you leaves, trees, wood, all every type of like leaf and tree and wood in the game. Um... This gets you most R's in the game that are generic, yeah? And this gets you most resources. Um, kind of like 
I've got this system working pretty well at the moment. I've only got this to level two. The reason this runs quite fast now is a speed upgrade, yeah, a speed modifier, you can only get by combining with something called mica. So if I put, all right, if I put environmental tech, this is mica, yeah? Um, if we click the speed modifier, this is how you made the speed modifier. So basically, what you saw at the level one in the actual episode of Watch the Grind, you don't have any of these modifier slots. As you go up to level two, you get what is here, four modifier slots available. Now, they're normally just null. You need to upgrade them. You can upgrade them to uh, speed, look, accuracy, or piezo, which I believe takes less energy to, for each search, I believe. But speed will upgrade the duration, yeah? Because if you right click on this, you can see on the bottom left there, duration, 80. So that's 80 ticks, which is only if, like, what, about a second or two? So every like two seconds or something, I get an item from this, which is good. That's what the speed modifiers do. Obviously, this has got eight because this is a tier three, which means we have eight slots for modifiers. Yeah, and that's only a duration of 32. So that's like every second we get something. It's ridiculous. Um, I've had to kind of disconnect the power because we did build this as our power setup. It is not functioning properly, guys. It's got power in now. Yeah, so I, what I'll do is I'll turn it on so you guys can kind of see. Um what I'm talking about yeah um, so if I plot that there it's got to give power to it and if I plot that there it's got to give power to that okay but if we right click like look it's using 928 RF per tick and I think that's only generating like 600 so it's in a negative but the moment you can kind of see items popping in there like almost every second like diamond or things like that yeah All right. Um, and then the same here Okay, now you guys can't see what's going on here, but I'm going to show you. Above here, we've built mechanism. Now, we've gone to ultimate, yeah? M the mechanism pipes are pretty useful. They're actually universal um, for pro most things, yeah? Um, and what we did was we ended up using these. We couldn't use the cyclic ones because they wouldn't work with the drawers, so we had to go to this, yeah? Um, and we made the best ones because these can transport 10 items per second so it doesn't clog up the system But basically this is going into the top of these drawers here. Yeah, you have to build a configurator Yeah, if you build a configurator you can change this like top here So at the moment that there is set to pull if I was to just kind of plot myself here for a second because you have to shift click Yeah, so if I plot myself here and shift right click that that's none. You see how it says connection type change to none. Yeah, and then I can click to change the colors. We don't need the color of that change, so we've got to change it to zero. If you change colors, you can s basically set where everything goes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy that, and we're just gonna place it back down. As it is now, it's doing nothing. In fact, it's gonna plop things in there that shouldn't, because it thinks it's just a dumping place. What we need to do is if we shift, that says to push. We don't want it to push things, we want it to pull, all right? So that being set to pull is now pulling all the items out, and they're already gonna to go to one place, which is where it's saying to push. Okay, now I've got that running through the wall, yeah, down here, basically to our underground system right here, yeah. Look, you can see it's coming through here, all right, and it's got push into this draw controller. So because I've already got it all set, it basically mines everything for me automatically, plops it into here, and then that's, hey, presto, done. Yeah, so now we can come around here and you'll see that we've got slots for, like, everything. Now, I've already upgraded all these drawers to max with void upgrades, so if it ever gets full, it will, won't clog the system. And we've got it upgraded with an emerald. If you see here, we've got emerald, which increases our storage by 32 times. So we can store a hell of a lot. I mean, if we just come over here, like, look. Look how much mica we've got. Look how much obsidian. We've had this running for quite a few days now, and we've got speed upgrades and stuff for it all going. It gets so many different types of terracotta, um, so I've got slots for each of it, you know. Just useful bits like sponges, you can can't get sponges normally in this game besides from these uh, underground things so if you're needing sponges for usage material because they can be useful um, in tools and things like that especially with the you know, Tinker's Construct they're very useful for like toughness and stuff so also it looks like you need it for this whatever the hell that is but yeah it's just like little bits and bobs so it's, I've got infinite of these resources now you know if you look I've got like so much soul sand it's ridiculous look 1,794 soul sand and this is all automatic you know as long as I've got my power it's there for me so that's why that's useful and then over here we've got all the ores and now ores are very useful for us 
Um, we've got like, if we look here, look, all these diamond doors. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to try and do it all ourselves. Like, you know, take them all out and then mine it and then process it. However, some of these things can be automatically processed. Some can't. Um, the ones that kind of can, I've set up a little bit of thing with the mechanism. So, if you see here, we've got silver, gold, tin, osmium, and then we've got iron, copper, and lead. They're all automatically being processed for us. And I do mean automatically. So, in the last part of the episode, I kind of showcased mechanism a little bit. Yeah, I didn't go too far. I still left it at just three times, but I can I can kind of showcase what we've done. This is all hooked up. Yeah, remember how we did our um, storage upstairs? Yeah, by hooking up the buffer and everything. We've got the same system here, right? So this, all these drawers are connected to our wireless system. All right, and our internal system. So as you can see, look, two thousand one hundred diamonds and all that stuff, right? So we've got plenty of resources that we need, and it's all connected to that system. What I wanted to kind of show you guys is this item here, yeah? I've used a cable connecting, all I've done is you connect the cable to any of the any of the system, yeah? That's going cable to cable, and then you put an exporter. Now this exporter, I've told it to pull these items. So, when any of them items go into this system, they're automatically being pulled into this here, yeah? Um, as you can see, gold just went in, yeah? That's then being processed. It's being processed yet again. Yeah, all clear. And then it's going into that system there. And all we have going from there is, yet again, the same pipes pulling and going straight into the system at the back there. So that pushes it back in. So it automatically processes them materials for us. The reason we've not got like the uranium and other things going is because it's not compatible with mechanisms thing. If we go and click it, like I'll show you, um, but there's some uranium okay if we press usage it doesn't have the mechanism part to actually create it into an ingot so things like this we will have to just kind of save up and then go and put in the smeltery when we want a load of it yeah we already have an automated smeltery it's not, not as good so we've pretty much got like as of now like you know we were in it like an infinite amount of these resources essentially and diamonds and stuff i mean the diamonds are pretty easy uh well, we've done loads of diamonds let's grab some and loads so I can think I can grab seven stacks at a time. What we've got set up, yeah, is enrichment factory. So diamonds, um, like, I'm just trying to think of like what else kind of goes in here. Like, basically, a um, if you press usage, it will show you what can go in here, right? But if we just shift click this, this is an upgraded one, by the way, enrichment factory. Doesn't increase the yield, but it increases the amount we can do at one point in time. So as you can see, we get two per each R. Which is pretty good considering we're getting them automatic and then I've got a chest set up just going down below. Yeah. So we can just put stacks in at a time and get over a thousand straight away basically. It's not a big deal. Alright. Um this is just an automated system we had set up for the infuser. But that's basically it, guys. This can be used for so many things, it's ridiculous. If you put redstone in here, you get twelve per one redstone. So if we actually look at the system right now, look, we've got six thousand two hundred lapis, eight thousand redstone. And we've still got a load of the R's as well. And it works for quartz as well. Um, if you press, you know, on the quartz, you can find that recipe and all that stuff. So that's kind of what we've been doing. You know, we've been, it literally took like a night and a half or something just to be able to get this up to level three. Um, and then I've just let it process and we've just been dealing with this stuff. We've, I've upgraded these kind of almost to the max. It just increases the slots um, pretty much. We've got upgrades on these. I explained last time, like gas upgrades, look, efficiency of gas, so the oxygen that we create here, yeah, which I did showcase as well, um, this oxygen is being pumped out into this tank and everything, that's running really fast, there's no need for any more, um, in fact we need a better pumping system because that doesn't pump enough water for this to produce, um, but that's all we've got for now, you've seen how we set up that pumping system in the past, it's not too much to go into there. But yeah, that's basically what we have been up to, guys. Um, I have been like traveling a little bit, getting some resources for Abyssal Craft. Um, but besides from that, that's what we do. We did. Okay. Um, what I'm still thinking of doing is, if we go to Environmental Tech, which is here, there is the solar panels. Now, these solar panels can be extremely good, especially later on. We are going to need to most likely start from like a neutral point like we're probably gonna get to we can probably build a level three um probably not level four right now 
because each level requires that, the crystals, so although we do have loads of them. But I think we're, we're going to settle for maybe a level 3, because level 4 is going to use a hell of a lot of emeralds, I believe. We probably could do it. But if you look at the structure size, though, space-wise, I mean, oh. I don't think I even built enough ties down here for a 60 by for a 15 by 15 potentially. I mean, I know this is 11 by 11 right now. Yeah, no, no, like, well, two each way actually. Yeah, maybe we've got enough space for the 16s. Uh, let's check the void oh, armor. I didn't realize it showed you that. All right, yeah, 13 by 13. So we do. We've got enough space to have them maxed here, here, here and here. Made the room particularly for that reason. Right. Okay, so we have a little, little, little bit of an issue here, and the only thing that is, is we need to dig up, yeah? Um, now, I've got a suspicious feeling we're going to dig into our astral sorcery stuff, everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig up for now, just so we've got a line. I'm just going to show... Yep. <laughs> so I was right. Um, I'm thinking of where we're going to build the solar panel. We can probably build it over here to the right, would you say? Or to the left, maybe? I think to the left, actually. So what we'll do is we'll come down a little bit. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. And we'll just dig this direction. Come on. All right. That'll do. There we go, we're clear for that. So we got a bit of an area where we know we're gonna be able to build this solar panel now. All right. Um, I think we're out of range of, oh no, if we come here, we're not out of range. So if we put, I don't know how many of these we've got. We've got 41 for now. Um, we can make some more of these, it's not an issue. All right, if we, see I don't know if it's gonna be better to use cyclic or different type we're gonna have to kind of mess about with it everybody and find out what we want to do but it does transfer by the looks of it like um 64 000. that's pretty decent i mean even the best mechanism ones i think don't transport that much or maybe they do if i feel like we need to do you know if we're generating more and we can't transport it properly because i don't think these load the chunk while it works as well if that is the case we will correct it we'll just make a lot of the other cables but for now, we're just going to stick to our trusty thingy one. So all we're going to do is run the cable along here. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Look. There we go. That's what we got. Okay. Uh, let's come in within range of this. So we have to make the first tier first. Um, so solar array controller tier one. Yeah. It needs lapis blocks and this litharite stuff in block form though. Okay, so we can make that. We can just go one, two, three. I think I don't know how much we need. We'll just make eight for the now. Um, and any, I believe, any of these. So we'll just we'll make the first version. We don't need to make a crazy version right now. So that's an interconnector. We've made a load of them already. Litharite crystals. We've got a load of them. We just need these, and these are going to be crazy easy to make. So we'll just make stacks of them because we're going to need stacks. That'll do for now. I feel like. Um, so yeah, we click the solar array now, we should be able to, oh, we need lapis blocks. I don't think we've got lapis blocks. It's, you know, it's annoying, but this is what mechanism is. Sorry, mechanism. Um, Sevtech. It's just, it's one of them things, you know. It's like, you wish it was easier like the other mods, but it isn't. And you got to deal with it. So what we need is to make a load of lapis blocks. So what we're going to do is just grab a load of this. And we're going to throw it on top of this. So it's out. We'll back off a little bit. Alright, so we're just going to let that do. As soon as we get the free, there we go, we can continue on our crafting part. So, that's for this. Um, we still needed to create this though, didn't we? One of these, yeah. So these are the solar panels, kind of like, you'll need to make loads of these, and depending on the type you make, you know, the higher you can go. You can only go up to the same height, however, I believe, depending on, like, the core, because it will only go so far. So if we press plus on this now, 
Yeah, there's our tier one. Let's get our assembler out. Okay, uh, we don't need the configurator right now. So, if we place down this, yeah, and we right click just like the other ones, it's going to show us required blocks. So, we need four null modifi modifiers, yeah, we need six structural frame and nine solar cell of any type, yeah. The higher type, the more it can produce, but it is capped based off the tier of the controller. So you'd probably not really much point in going for the max. Like, I mean, we can't do the max just yet, but like if you were to say to go for FEM or whatever, or Ionite, you know, it wouldn't make much sense because you're not gonna be able to do it. But for now, that's where we're at. So that's a tier one. Now while we're not doing tier one, we're gonna go straight to like tier four or something. So if we shift click, yeah, now let me pick you up, thank you. There we go. What am I doing? Right. So we're gonna upgrade it straight away and you need the actual controller to upgrade to the next tier. So in tier two, it's gonna require four of this one. Again, we've already obviously got a load of these. All right, so there's the four of them. Um, where is it gone now? There it is. And it, I believe it needs the erodium cell. All right, so to make them, you need the previous version as well. Oh, wow, that is expensive then. Three, four. Okay, so we'll make four of them. One, two, three. Hey, come on, you got that. There we go, there's the four of them made. Obviously, we've had this running for a long time, so we've got most of these materials already. And then we place this in the middle, we get our tier two. And as we go up in tiers, it's going to need more and more blocks. We're going to go straight to tier four, I feel like, because that way I know we've got power for pretty much anything I need in the future. I'm hoping I can. I mean, I've got a load of this, so that's fine. Um, like this, please. Two, three, four. And again, I believe this is going to require the one beforehand. So if we want four of them, I guess it's not too bad because it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, isn't it? So, like, if we make four of these, plop them in there, then we can make four of them, plop them in there. You can quickly see, though, why this is going to take a lot of resources. Luckily, we have it. Um, and there's tier three. Done. All right. Now, I feel like tier four is going to be harder, and it just is. Um, I know all tier four things require emeralds to make this. And if, like, because look, we're going to need tier structure frames tier four, which require the palladium, quartz, some structure tier three beforehand, and emerald. And the one before that requires diamonds. So you're going to need this set up, like, similar to how I've got if you want to have enough diamonds and emeralds to do it. Later on, tier five is never stars per each piece, guys. It is ridiculous, and then it's more never stars. That's where we're gonna have to look at maybe making a mob farm set up with maybe astral sorcery ritual to spawn the mobs. Um, and then we're gonna have to kind of get a mob duplications thing set up. I know how to, it's just a real pain in the butt. Uh, but we might make an episode on a mob farm setting that up anyway. Might, I, I, I don't think I need to get this up to level six. I think just being level tier four on all of this stuff will be enough for us really. Um, we don't. We don't need to go over the top of it. Like even tier four is quite high. So I think we'll probably get away with it, but we're gonna see how it runs. We'll see how it runs. For now, we're just gonna get this made as a tier four. So yet again, we need these ones like so. One, two, three, four. I mean, we've got 2000 in these, so I feel like we've got enough. I feel like we've got enough to be able to make this solar array out of this for now. Um, and we'll get more of these from our actual void miner anyway. So, we got four of them. Again, we need like four of the previous. So, oh, wait a minute. So, we're gonna need four of these one, two, three, four. Then we need four of these. And four of these. And then four of them. Now, we should be able to make ourselves a tier four controller. And there we are. We ain't going any higher than this, guys. 
So we need to see what we're gonna need for this. So we right click, you're gonna need a lot of this stuff, like it's not it, it's it's not little amounts. Um Why is it shown as the next two? Oh, didn't know it did, but oh well. So it needs eight null modifiers, 40 structural frames, tier four or above, and 81 solar cells of any type. I don't know if we're gonna have enough for it. We're gonna see. Um, that's a quite a lot. 81 solar cell of any type. I mean, we can make the first tier and then just upgrade bit by bit as you go along. It doesn't have to be the same, by the way. You can mix and match. So if you can only make 20 of, like, this max one, and then you've got the rest on the tier below, you can mix them. So don't worry about it. It just means it won't generate as much power. But that's not a huge deal. Right. So we need eight normal modifi modifiers. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get that now. So our normal modifier is simply an interconnector, some glass, and that. Yeah. So it's saying we need eight. Um... You know, I don't know what modifier can go on this. I imagine speed, potentially. But I actually think the CP01 actually makes it so that while it rains and while it's dark, you still get some energy, potentially. Um, for now, we're just going to stick null modifiers, and I'll mess about with that in my own time. But there we go. We've got eight. Okay. Um, so that's eight of them done. We needed 40 frames, so we're going to need to make 40 frames of the previous tier as well. So, we need this. So, let's just get to 40. Hopefully, we've got enough interconnectors for this. I believe we do. Um, there's the 40 of them. Okay. Then we need the next tier. So, because I know we've only got 40, I can just shift-click it. Tier 3. Again, we'll put them in there and then shift-click. Nice and easy. And then we've got tier 4. Yet again, put in there, shift-click, done. So there's the frames that we need. I've got to keep the sooty mark, but we've got to put that back still. Okay, so there's the null modifiers and the frames required for this. Um, and the last part is 81 of these solar cells. Whew. It is a lot, people. Like, it's not a small amount. Um, 81, eh? So we need to make 81 of these first tiers. So there's a stack. What am I doing? I've already got this there. Oh, what's 81 going to be? Like, that's um, 80. That's 80. So that's 81 there. All right. So we've got 81 of them. Plump them in there. I'm going to click this. I'm just going to click plus. Ah, you see, we need more of them side things. Luckily, we can make a load of them still. There we go. So let's go to this next tier. Just shift click. Look, there we go. That's all of them made. We'll go up to the next tier. Click them. Again, all of them made. And this is the tier we can go up to. I think we, we, we could go for higher, but we don't actually have ironite stuff yet. We've only got up to this tier. We need to upgrade the void mining to go up to ironite, which we could potentially still do because we said we'll go up to like tier 4. And our void resource is only at tier 3. But for now, we have... All of our little bits and pieces, everybody. So what we're going to do is... No, I don't want you guys placed. Come on. Thank you. Let's make sure that gave us everything back. It seems like it did, which is good. Um, the only thing I think I want is a, like a bit of cobble just to build a bit of a platform. You guys will see why. Are we at night time? I think we are. Let's go Betty Bowes. Or is it just becoming day? We'll make sure we get to daytime. We don't know, want no mobs interfering with what we're doing, do we? Okay, guys. So, let's jump outside here. Run over here. So we know this is here. We can most likely assume it's going to be a decent size of a construction. So we're going to put a lot of about here. Yeah, that seems like an alright place. We'll place it down. Right. And then we're just going to hold with our assembler and it's just going to start placing everything automatically for us. It's nice and easy that way. Um, 
one thing to note, obviously, this only works in the daytime. Now, here's a little tip for you. I probably should be doing this, but I am not for now. Um, if you went to the day, if you went to the end, yeah, and you build solar panels in the end, it never turns nighttime in the end. Therefore, you can always have it running. However, I, in SevTech, loading chunks is a little different, so it's a bit difficult to get it running all the time. So I think as soon as you leave, it wouldn't really function properly. So it's a bit tricky, but it's just a bit of an idea. Um, done it in other packs before, but I don't think it, it might not work in this one. So maybe just ignore that. But either way, there we are, guys. We have this running. Look at what it's producing: thirty-three thousand one hundred and twenty-nine F E per tick. Uh, that is an insane amount. Yeah, um, so we've got energy now. What we need is a way to kind of store this energy and move it to where we want it to. So, if we say plot that there, it's going to start sending some down this way. We are actually going to go into mechanism a little bit here. So, if we go at actually, we're going to have to go downstairs quickly. Still believe I had to build a few bits and bobs, so let me run down here. Yep. We are going to get an elevator set up there, guys, as well. Right. Um, yeah, I believe I was trying to show you guys before I was preparing this. So, as I mentioned previously, like it's always better if you've got to be using materials in the infuser to do this first. That's just made a compressed version. So that is worth eight times of the compression. So I only need eight, for example, to do a stack. Yeah. So what we're actually going to make, guys, is... Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, we've got them all in here, right? Yeah, we made a load of these enrichment alloys. If we put eight of them, that says 64, which means we can do 64 of diamonds. So we're gonna make these diamond ones here. Now this is because of this setup, it's just gonna plop down here just like so. All right, and there is a reason we're making this because we're gonna make these, okay, energy cubes. They're very efficient. Yeah, look, if you look at capacity, yeah, you can shift, Click and give you a bit more information. I don't know what it does. But if we go up to the ultimate, that's 51 million in one block. Yeah, that's what we want, really. Yeah, we want to be able to store it there. Now, there are other things we can do with mechanism about building a huge um, setup with, where is it? Yeah, with these stuff, um, induction casing, induction parts and stuff. But we don't need that much energy, I think, right now. Um, so this will serve our purposes. We're going to be producing a lot and we're going to have a lot saved up because we'll make quite a few of these. Um, so first off, we're going to have to start with the beginning one. Yeah, because each tier requires the previous one as well. So basic energy. Now, basic energy just requires steel casing, some energy tablets and that. It's nothing crazy and it'll hold 800 energy. That's all, really. So we're going to need a few of these. Yeah. Um, two, three, four. Say we went for 10, yeah? Um, sorry, say we were doing five, so that's gonna give us five of them, yeah? And all we gotta do is we can just create one at a time, just like so. Okay, it's a lot of clicky at the moment, but we can also set up auto crafters, but I might get into that in another time. So the next one is gonna require again, do we, does each upper tier require 10 of these? Because if it does, I'm just gonna make so that's 10 to get there, 10 to get there, and 10 to get there. So we need 30 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's just throw all these upstairs. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. I apologize for the counting, guys. All right, so that should be all of them made. So we're gonna upgrade this to the next stage. All we need is some osmium enriched alloys, which we've got, yeah? Nothing too crazy. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna plot them back in there. So they're already good, they're 3.2 million each, yeah? But we're going higher, and to go higher, we needed them reinforced alloys, which we've just made 64 of, okay? So we're gonna plot that up there. Click on the elite version. Wait, what? Are you really not registering? 
sometimes it does this unfortunately so as you can see we've got them there but it's not registering even though if we put it there it's got to register see one two three four five and we do the same again I've already made some of the atomic ones previously so we got the ultimate version which is just diamonds two of them and four atomic yeah if you're wondering how you make atomic I'll press R so what you need is you got to make um, refined obsidian yeah to put over the diamond ones which you just saw how we make the refined obsidian is actually pretty simple all it is is diamonds and obsidian dust yeah not too crazy but obviously if you didn't have a load of diamonds you need to make sure that you're making the most of it by compressing it first so you get eight out of one diamond that way okay but for now we're already set and there we are we now have five of them so that's 250 million storage yeah so when it goes night time in the game it should be fine all right we're gonna have lots of energy for lots of other things to craft so I feel like the only thing we do need now is more bundles um, do we have anything to make that right now yes we do eight yay <laughs> that's not that bad. that's not the best thing but it's okay We'll deal, we'll deal. Um, we do have a lot of bricks actually being made right now as well. Because we've been getting um, clay from that. So I put a load of stuff in here. So if we do need more, we'll come back. But I'm not sure if you've still got some somewhere laying about, you know. I just feel like we have... There we go, see? I knew we did. Right. So we're going to come back out to this. Yeah. And we're very simply, for now, going to do this. If we place that there, yeah, click that, you can see, look how quickly we're storing energy. Millions already, yeah? And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to make ourselves a little bit of a case down like this. Yeah? Um, we're going to tell this one, okay, this should be its bottom output. We'll know if it's output because it'll go to there, yeah? All right, so we're going to tell this one, output to the bottom. Yep, same again, output to the bottom. This one we're going to tell to output to the left, which would be this one. So now we've got a storage system of 250 million. All right, yeah, it could be a lot better. We could probably make a cube, but this is what we're doing for now. Just for the purpose, I might make it all more seamless and everything later on, but for now, this is what we've got. Yeah, and then... All we're going to do is connect it up to our wire. Yeah. Um, and if we then click here and we say output, we should see it's still going up, but you can kind of see it's going. It's, I don't know if you can tell. Does it give us the information? I think it should. Yeah. Look. So max output. Oh, wow. So it's got a very good output. But I don't think it, it can only do a certain amount. So either way, this should be now functioning properly for us. Right, we're not going to run out of energy. That's just going to store up this. It's going to store down the wires. And we should be pretty good for the future now, guys. Um, we need to plot that back there. So this is functioning again. Yay. Good. So, yeah, that's the solar panel, guys. Um, that's basically going to get us our energy for now. You could, If I put this into a big storage unit, you'd see this would be a really good way to get like the energy we're going to need for later on. But that's basically it when it comes to... You know what I wanted to show you in the energy side. That's going to function our uh, miners and everything properly. If we come down here, we should see now that we're not going to need our drop out of energy or anything. In fact, these should. Are these even being used? No, these are just going up now because they're not being used. So we've also still got the 20, sorry, 40 million down here as well. So, energy-wise, we are set, people. We are definitely okay. Which is good. It's very good for us. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to plop this stuff back up there because we don't need it on us right now. Right. We'll go charge our little charger quickly. Jump. There we go. Yeah, we do need the elevator sorted. I just need to get some sheep. I need to get some sheep to breed. 
I feel like that's what we need right now. So, we're going to look into Abyssal Craft, everybody. And the reason for it is we want Inferium. Yeah? Sorry, I don't know why I'm putting at Inferium. Um, we need this stuff. Yeah? Inferium Essence. Now, from what I understand, there are a few ways to get it in this game. Um, there is, normally you can get it just from mob loose. It's not this hard, but obviously Servtech being Servtech makes it hard. Now, the way to get it is for Atomic Reconstruction, where we can go to Saturn and get some slime ore. We'd make this, which is a bit of a pain in the butt to make in the first place. I mean, if we click it, yeah, you can see. It's not an easy task. I mean, we, we can pretty much get all the stuff to make it. It's just about a lot of clicky. So I can do that at some point. It's not the craziest thing. We just need to upgrade to an elite table, which we can do as well. The actual hard part is this ore. You, to go to Saturn, yeah, so if we press, is it M? Yeah. If we click Saturn, we need a tier 5, yeah? Tier 5 rocket, everybody. Which means we have to get, so, sorry, look, so rockets. So we'd have to build ourselves a tier 5 rocket, yeah? This is what a tier 5 rocket is. All right, um, heavy duty plates, which are like compressed palladium, which we actually have the palladium now, which is good. So we had to get into this no matter what. Um, so actually, wait, a palladium ingot, how'd you get a palladium ingot? Uh, look, you have to go to Jupiter first, so you have to go to all the other planets just to be able to get the actual stuff for that, yeah? Um, and we also need this heavy duty tier 4 plate and then heavy duty tier 4. You have to go, it's going to take forever to do basically guys. Yeah. Um, and, I, and since we have to go into Abyssal Craft anyway to kind of defeat the game, which I found out. Um, Abyssal Craft seems to be a bit of an easy way because if I just show you. Right. If we click on Inferior Essence. We can get it from the Inferior Mar. Now the R doesn't spawn in the world anymore like it used to. However. If we click this R, sorry, not this R, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it, it was this one, right? No, right, so yeah. What we do is, to get this R, you can actually Starlight Transmute. This R, Kepler-22B Iron R. I don't know what planet you get it from, okay? However, we can make this R somehow with Abyssal Craft. Look. Um, so it's these two sort of crystals with this crystal in a whatever this machine is, yeah, makes that R for us. So essentially, we could R make them to get this crystal seems pretty easy. Um, you put it in the crystallization, look, we can get it from lapis or look, eight of 12 of them. So you can get that very easy, okay. Um, and the one previously, if we go back to this quickly, go through our little system. This one you just get from iron put in this machine. So essentially, we just need these two machines from Abyssalcraft. Now, it's just a furnace and whatever these blocks are. Now, I don't know how, what they are now. Um, but it looks like Molten Dreadium, and I don't know how to get Dreadium either yet. If we just have a quick gander. I'm sure, it's going to show us the Dreadium R being smelted. Yeah. Look. Um, that's just from Dreadium Dust. Dreadium dust again. So it's it's one of them. That we, it looks like we can get there, but it's just about learning how. And we have to go down Abyssal Craft to do it, which is what we're going to look at kind of doing now. Um, so yeah, because all we actually need, guys, is just enough to get the one seed. Just enough to make one of these here, an Inferium seed. So we just need eight of this stuff. As soon as we got eight, we can make a seed and we can start growing it and then we'll be fine. Yeah? But we need to get to that point first. So, we're going to look at the Abyssal Craft. Now, if I do at Abyssal. I'm just going to say that that's it. I don't know how to spell it. Oh, there we go. Right. So this is like the stuff with Abyssal Craft. Now obviously you can see most of it is unaware to us, yeah? What I do know is we can create a portal to go to the other dimension where we can then unlock other things and we can upgrade the book which will then unlock more machines and other things towards us so we can do it that way. And that's what we're gonna be doing. 
Um, we've got the book over there. We need to make a transmutation crystal, I believe. Because um, we need to make this the obliviation crystal, but we can't do that without making this first, if I'm right. Yeah, because you need 5,000, which is the max, basically. You need the book filled, some prismarine shards. We've got this, but we need the shards of oblivion. Oblivion. To get them, you need shadow gems. We've went and got a lot of them already, but you need the transmutation gem. All right? To get the gem, it requires 300 PE, two emeralds, acrylion pearl, two, four aquamarine, and two of them. And we actually have all this stuff already, which is great. Uh, so if we come here, we've got four of them. We have got here the powder, two of them. Um, just two ender pearls and then the actual pearl. So we've got some of these pearls over here melted, which is great. No, I'm not gonna sneeze, I'm not gonna sneeze. I'm, I'm trying not to, guys. Just drinking cherry aid. It's nice. Right. So we got all them little bits. And then it's just an end is it eight is it just one end of pearl we need? I mean we we've got enough for now, so we'll just use I think it's the one. Um two. Right. Two. And there is our recipe. The only thing we need is our book. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sleep quickly because we don't want to be doing rituals in the night time. It's dangerous enough as it is. All right, guys. So let us jump over here where we've got our setup going on. Uh, we've got some more statues so we can add more of that. We've got to kind of stay away from it. Um, we've got our book, it's practically at max, which is great. Apparently, these do not have to be in the order that you see, by the way. As long as they're actually there, it should function. So, that is something we'll find out, won't it? Um, we place that in the middle, and then shift right click that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. See, it was right. I'm going to place this back on there. It should be practically filled instantly. I don't know how much it's filling up instantly. But we'll get it back up to 5,000 just while we come over here to make these gems that we need. Uh, are we in Ranger? Yes, we are. Okay, so this is a gem. I, I am wondering, just out of curiosity, can we enchant this? Or no? State Transformer. Yeah, we need it for that. So we're probably going to have to craft a few of these later on because we need like this machine, whatever that is. Carillion brick. See, I don't. It's just like we have to go through this to learn it, you know. So it's one of them guys. We will learn it eventually. Um, but there's, I believe, like four dimensions for abyssal craft or something. So it's one of them. We'll we'll get there when we get there. But for now, if we plot this here, just go down. I've got a load of shadow gems, I believe. Um, yeah. Look, there we go. So that is saying if we do that, we'll get one. I believe we need four for this, so we're just going to make the four for now and leave that up there. Um, we need prismarine. Four of them. Four prismarine four, and just one ender pearl. Ender pearl goes in the middle, guys. So, we saw lightning go over here, and it spawned anything. Anything bad happened. Doesn't seem so much. Okay. So. Let's place our items in here like so. Now I just need a book with 5,000 power. We have that. And we shift click. Uh, hello? Hello? Have I... What's going on? Does it have to be in order for this one, maybe? We'll try. I 
think the recipe is right, guys. Um, a little confused. Sacrifice required. What does that mean? We have to kill something near the altar while we do it? Can we read the book quickly? What does it say? Um, an oblivion crystal is created by infusing an eye of ender with shards of oblivion and redstone. Wait, it says eye of ender, but that's saying ender pearl, not eye of ender. Uh, it says sacrifice required. Um, do we just have to grab an animal? Mr. Pig? Can we... One second. Let us grab a carrot. Let's get this pig over here, see if we have to just sacrifice him near it. Come on. Come on, pig. I know there's a sacrifice altar that we can make to actually gain extra PE, but I don't know if we'd have to do it near there or just like... Let me drop you here. Yeah, you come in here. Mr. Pig. I broke the pig. All right. Um, are you guys confused? I am. Uh, well, it says Eye of Ender, and it's not working with an Ender Pearl, so maybe it is an Eye of Ender we need. Let me... Do we have any Eye of Enders? I am baffled. I mean, it says it's an Ender Pearl there, not... Oh, what's going on? Why didn't it give me the item I asked for? There we go. Eye of Ender. No. Piggy Wink. Um... Does this say how we do sacrifice potentially? Let's have a check. Rituals. Normal. No. Potential energy. Obtaining. Uh, Petals is the main component. Mono stone. Yeah, no. That's not. It's just getting started. After that, you can create. Performing rituals in order to perform. Yeah. Some rituals require a living sacrifice. This means you need to have an adult item within close proximity of the altar and pedestals. When the ritual starts, the target animal will begin to glow and need to be needs to die before the ritual ends. Oh, okay. So if that's the case, let me. Grab a pearl because it's saying pearl. So I'm gonna try it just with the what the recipe is saying. And we'll just get this pig within range and then try it there, yeah? Seems like a good idea. Mr. Pig Pig. Bye. Come on, you want the carrot? You know you do. I can just imagine all the hashtag vegans going, you can't kill a pig for a sacrifice. Not even eating it either, people. Not even eating it. How bad am I? Um, let's just plump that here. Grab you. Plop you there. Get these off my character. Carrot. Piggy pig. 
Come on. Oi. It's like he knows. He knows something bad is going to happen. Yeah? Killed it. Let's hope we did this right, everybody. Ow! <laughs> Yay, we did it. We got Oblivion Crystal. Right. Usage. So I believe we need to make this the gateway key. Um, this is unlimited usage, which is great. So they've changed this slimy bones, Carillion pearls, and that. It was blaze rods, I believe, previously, but oh well. Um, I think we should have some slimy bones down in the between lands. If not, I guess we're going to between lands. Let's plop that there. Look, throw away, throw away the piggy's meat. Throw it away. Uh, between lands, slimy bones, yes. And we have the pearls required. Okay. Um, here is our gateway key. Press plus. Boom. And that, everybody, is what we need to do. Uh, just before we go up to that upgrade, by the way, I wanted to check. I think we can upgrade our backpack a little bit. Um, at M. Here we go. Yeah, we can actually do the diamond upgrade now. Um, we can also just get normal backpacks, which is pretty good, actually. Um, that just requires the previous tier, and that requires the previous tier to that. Okay. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll click this. We'll click plus. We're going to upgrade our current one. I feel like it needs to be done. Iron, gold, and this. Okay, and then we're also just going to make ourselves. Oh well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. Of course you need wool. Because why wouldn't you need wool? Damn it! We got enough to make white wool. Uh, fleece. Nope, we don't have enough string. Uh, and we still don't have enough. That's annoying. Damn it. I don't think... Can we turn that into fleece? I, don't, I didn't think we could. Oh well, I guess we'll just settle for this. Did we make that one? What's this called? There we go. So what we need to do if we want to apply this upgrade is we need to take it off. We need to plot them two together like so. And boom. I also believe that this means if I was to die, this would stay with me, which is even better. Uh, we definitely don't want all that stone on us. We'll keep the ender pearls. We'll keep our extra tools there. In case there's something we need to get from the other world. And we got our food with us. That's fine. Let's plot this back on our back where it was. And we'll just get rid of this few bits like so. Got to keep the book with us. It's got no potential energy with it right now, but that's okay. And boop. So guys, I think we've got to jump through here. I'm going to get a lot of resources and learn a bit and probably in my own time. Because I don't want the episode to be on for too long. But for now, if we just go there. All you do is right click, you've got infinite uses. And this is our portal to the dimension. I don't know how it works. Do we just go in it? Do we shift click? Do we click it? We have to hold the key? No? Nope. Alright, it just takes some time. Okay. Let's hope that this doesn't mess anything up, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the world. Uh, quite hostile, as I expected. Um. 
But I believe from here, though, we can actually get... Let's just get rid of these guys. We don't want you to go away. Certain things in here that's going to be good for us to kill. Uh, whoa, you're, you're hefty. What did I get from you? Look at all this diamond gear. Go on, have it back. We don't even care. We're flush with diamonds. We're flush, mate. We're flush. Um, I thought it was like this flesh that we need to... Oh, wow. Wow. Chill. Chill, guys. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. They're all a little bit hyper, aren't they? Okay, um, so, uh, this is dangerous, like, that's, that's fingy sight or something, um, got some slimes, we got some of this stuff, abyssal stone, I guess we'll grab a little bit of it, why not, fused abyssal sand, You can get a bit of sand glass out of it. I guess I'll take a little. The only thing I don't really know, I may as well just grab a stack of, right? Makes sense. So, I believe I need to get some sort of flesh from like this world. Um, there's these tower things. Apparently, they've got like a block of diamond. Oh, what are these? At? No. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. What in the hell are you? What are you? Carillion cobble. Usage. Carillion stone. So maybe that's how we can get the Carillion ingot thing that we need. Let's. Yeah. Because we enjoy wrecking things, so. <laughs> um, that's sick. Is it? Is it actually holding anything up? Like besides from. Let's fly up a bit. And no, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Strange. Oh, oh, yo, dude, dude. What in the hell are you? You're weak. That's what you are. Um. Carillion plagued flesh. That's how you get the skin of the abyssal wasteland. So you need a load of the Carillion plagued flesh. Um, and an abyssal wasteland essence, which to get that, locate the abyssal wasteland, energy type, what? Abyssal wasteland essence are made from harvesting abyssal wasteland energy from Corellium entities. I've got, I think, feel like I've got quite a bit to learn. I think that's a building over there, though, with possible some looting. We'll go find out. Um, but it is looking like we just need to kind of kill everything um, and see what we can make out of it. Like I said, I've not done this. Oh, yo, you, yo, dragon, dragon, dragon. Yo, we're going to have issues, mate. We're going to have issues. Yo, how many of you are there? Damn. You guys just gonna be here to bug me. I feel like you are. Nothing in the chest. Um, apparently there's something down here though. Okay, let's go down please. Um, oh, Abyssal Knight pickaxe. Abyssal Knight chest plate and some refined Carillion ingots. Okay. So we need to find some of this stuff. These are just the bricks. So I need to go on a search hunt and hunt and load of this kind of stuff by the looks of it. Um, not, it doesn't look like it's really too. There's a load of this stuff, man. I had to make a load of this stuff. You know, we had to make this stuff. Like, if we'd have actually. We could have done this potentially. I don't know if it's possible. We should have potentially could have done this before. Um, you know, when we had to sell a lot of that kerosite or whatever. I think that's what the same stuff is. 
Um, and if it is, then we should have been selling that. Because we could have just come here to get a load of it. Look, some more Abyssal Night Ingots. This stuff. Right, okay. And I just need to get enough stuff to kind of unlock the book. Could we have to create the next level in the book? If we press usage on the book. Three of this. Yeah. Makes it. I just. It's a bit of wasteland thing here. It's this stage. I don't know how we do this. Um, that's the problem. I'm going to have to look at how we actually get to doing it, guys. I am. Um, I don't know maybe if there's ores under here that I can find. Just like basic ores. I think there is, though. What? They just look terrifying. I mean, we're pretty much invincible. Look, like nothing, nothing, nothing's gonna touch us. They gotta kill themselves if they hit us. So it's not. I'm not bothered about them. They're just like a little nuisance. Nothing, nothing to worry about, you know. What are you used for? In a ritual for a less scroll? Okay. Should we? Should we? Should we have a quick look at underground? I think we should feel like we should. I feel like we should just go like this, watch. Just like so. Um, let's plop this in our null charm. Because we don't want too much of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to void mine it. Void mine it. Why am I saying void mine? Never mind. I'm silly sometimes, guys. Let's do this. I want to see what we got. So, Abyssal Krillium. <laughs> this is the lazy way to mine out. Wow. Energy. This is how you find things you need, guys. Hands down. So, we've got Abyssal Iron and all these other ores that we've got to pick up. So we know what we've got them in our like our dictionary sort of thing, I think. I think that's the thing. But apparently you find an this abyssal night itself, and I'm just wondering if we're gonna find any of that. Liquefied Corillium Oh, what in the world? Oh, there's the knitter. Heard about that. Keep going. I don't know. It's like some abyssal diamond are and stuff. Ow. And pearl sentient corillium are oh, harvestable. No. What? Usage, what are you used for? Crystallization to get this, and then the usage for that is refined Corillium Nugget. Refined Corillium Ingots and stuff like that, okay. Abyssal Nifa. The first time we got this stuff. Again, to do with the crystallization side of things it looks like it's a big thing but we can't learn too much about why can we not harvest that is my question tier five what do you mean tier five i've got the fucking highest tier there is have i obviously not um unless it's got to be harvested some way within like the mechanics of abyssal craft that does happen Alright, so I've not found the Abyssal Knight R. I don't know maybe if you do find that here. Or maybe it's just super rare. But we have found this stuff, you know. Um, Alright, interesting. So we're going to have like most of this stuff. I'm going to learn more about the actual mod itself. Because it looks like I need to. And I might progress a bit and get these machines done. And then I'll have to do a bit of a showcase, potentially. 
and that's gonna be the plan so far but yeah guys that's us that's it um we should just be able to make a portal and go back now look if i grab this right there and there we go we should be going back to normal i hope we're just gonna come out where we went in i don't want it to be plopping us anywhere like that just like that where in the world are we oh we're not too far okay <laughs> so if we go out a different portal we're going to come out a different portal we've got to remember that nothing too crazy though nothing too crazy but yeah all right guys that has been episode 27 i hope you guys are enjoying it so far we're going to probably continue some of this off screen um so i can know what i'm doing more and hopefully get to where we need to be um because i don't think you guys are just gonna want to watch we're not doing my spotlights here at the end of the day but i just wanted to show where we were what we've been up to um so you guys can kind of follow along with the progress i didn't want to get all of this done and because i feel like some of it's important um one thing i do want to show you guys just before we finish this off let's have a look at the book shall we yeah if we go and we click on our things Near the end, here, the Sividus Summoning Ritual summons this guy, uh, the ultimate boss of the universe, defeat him to defeat Septic Ages. This, guys, is where it ends. This is where everything ends. This is what we will be doing to finish off the pack. Once we've done this, that's when we're going to end this series. Yeah? Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy. It looks like four of the ultimate ingots ultimate singularities and like this white gem obviously it's got to be crazy i mean look here's the singularities the ultimate singularities one of each one i don't even how know what this stuff is quantum compressor and you need ultimate catalyst plus that just to be able to make are you serious damn are the ultimate cat things aren't too crazy but yeah, kind of looking at it, it looks like it needs like one of each bloody thing in the game as well as like the ultimate ingots do. So it's not something that's just going to come along easy. Um, Death Compass, not too crazy to get. But yeah, that's where it all ends. That's our goal at the end of it all, guys. And um, it should be fun. I feel like it should be fun. But until then, if you are liking it, yeah, um, if remember to... You know, leave a comment in the video, like and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. And if you want to kind of interact with me more when I'm doing videos or uh, just have a chat or whatever, you can join my Discord and the Twitch, the Twitch, um, sorry, yeah, Twitch. Uh, everything's in the description of the video. So until next time, guys, I hope you all stay safe and I will and I shall see you then. Goodbye.